Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to install Lambda One VR onto your Oculus Quest device, that's Quest One or Quest Two, to be able to play the original Half Life on the Oculus Quest. This is purely untethered, so once you've installed it using your Linux machine, you're good to go. You don't need your Oculus connected, you have no connection with your computer afterwards. It's all done on the headset. So you can go anywhere you want, you can go into the room, you can go to another house, wherever, and it will work fine. So this is for Linux. I've got videos covering it for Mac and Windows, so the process is slightly different. Also, I've got separate videos covering how to upgrade your Mac version to HD and the Windows version to HD, and I'll have a separate video covering how to upgrade your Linux version to HD as well. So this is just the base game. So first of all, what you want to do is make sure you've set up side quest. I've got a separate video covering that. And in the description, I'll have a link to the side quest play. I mean, the Oculus Quest playlist that will have side quest set up videos. So feel free to check them out. Next, you want to make sure you have Steam installed. You can literally just Google you know steam installer go to the steam website click install and you'll be all good to go once you've got steam installed go to library obviously make sure you signed in if you scroll down go to half-life select that this will be an install button like the way it is here click that it is not big at all it won't take very long so once that's successfully installed what you want to do, we can close this down. You want to open up your files and go to home. And in home, if you scroll down to dot steam, go to steam apps, go to common, go to the half-life folder. And in here, we need to copy over the valve folder. So first of all, if you launch up side quest, I've already got it, you know, launched up. And if you go to the home, lambda one vr so lambda one vr and this right here not the launcher so you just select this mine says unauthorized i just need to allow connection to it in the headset so if you get that let's put your headset on and click allow for usb de debugging and file access as well if you pops up a few times that is a okay again i covered this in a separate video so now that has gone green click install to headset it is installing if you go to here you'll download the apk the installation will be even quicker now that that's done click this folder icon and scroll down you won't have this xafh like i've got so if we go back and so what you won't have is so what i'll do i'll delete this you won't have this and this is what we need to create so if you click add go to make folder in this folder call it xash and open that up and now you need to copy over the valve folder so we just copy that on go to the notifications it'll tell you the progress just a bunch of small files it shouldn't take too long at all probably no 10 seconds and it will be done because it is a very small game it's like a couple of hundred meg so now that that is done we're all good to play the game so we can close side quest down i'll just minimize it i'm going to just prove to you that i'm disconnecting the device i've disconnected it and it will go red now up here yeah there we go it's gone red and actually i'll close it because we don't need it anymore so now what we want to do is actually launch it up on our device. I've got the Oculus Cast website right here. So if I cast over the Oculus screen, so if I go to share, cast, computer, next. So hopefully you will be seeing the game soon. I mean the actual let me just make this full screen obviously feel free to press that so you get some audio but we, we're not caring about that uh, okay so you can see the screen now now from here you want to go to apps and by default you'll probably see this little menu 
go to the top right with the drop down scroll down unknown sources select lambda one vr if you've installed other applications for example through sidequest afterwards there it will be higher up so you might need to scroll down a bit just with one of the analog sticks so if you just use let's say the right trigger the index trigger to launch lambda one vr there you go so from here you can go to configuration feel free to modify the audio feel free to mess around with the video settings you can change the controls as well feel free to experiment with that for your liking i'm just going to go to new game medium and there we go we have the original half-life running on our oculus quest headset and we can move our controls we can look around as well okay so it's some pretty cool stuff obviously the graphics are looking a bit you know blurry in a separate video i will show you how to actually upgrade this to hd so it looks a lot better with newer models and newer textures so feel free to check that video out that's it i'm going to take the headset off now and that is it so that's how you set up your oculus quest to play the original half-life using lambda one vr if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message really simple stuff in the link there will be i mean in the description there will be a link to the discord page where there's over 1500 members and over usually 100 at any given time that are online that are open to helping you plus i'll be on there helping as well so that's it if you have any questions you know feel free to post there or in the comments and i'll see you all very very soon